Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to be sharing with you these cute little envelope uh, coffee pockets. And these are really uh, easy to do. And I, they're made using the envelope punch board. And uh, here's what, what they look like here. So this one, I've used um, some paper that has uh, coffee pot, different coffee pots on it. I've used a lot of stamping on this and layering. Um, um, I used my die, the rectangle die and stamped coffee and some little coffee beans on there. I've got a coffee cup stamped on a circle punch uh, shape that I punched out there and layered that up. And then those are the decor on the front. And uh, inside we've got the Starbucks Via uh, French Roast. And I've just got one to sort of demonstrate with today because I think my husband took the other, a uh, few of the other ones uh, on a hike. And uh, this was the only one that was left. So I'll have to get some more for the other pockets. But anyways, that's what I've used in here. So it's, it fits in there really nice. And then I decorated the top of this um, with just some little coffee themed uh, uh, pictures that I found in one of the uh, six by six uh, paper pads. And I'll show you the pad that I used for that. And then I just um, punched a hole in the top and added some Baker's twine. And I thought it turned out really cute. So um, here's the six by six pad that I used. And um, for this, I'll give you all the measurements, but I actually only needed a five by five piece of uh, scrapbook paper for each one. And uh, but this pad is called Sunday Morning and it had lots of uh, coffee and uh, tea themes in it. Um, there's the, that's one of the papers that I used. I'll just kind of flip through this, a really pretty marble paper. I've used some of these in some other projects before as well. And uh, what I liked, here's where I've got cut out some of these little uh, coffee cup pictures. And just you can kind of utilize these however you want. I punched that one out, I think, for one of them. And um, yeah, it's a really cute little little paper pad. I've used quite a few, so there's not as many to show you in here. But there's another one that you could um, cut things out of. So that's that. And then here's... Uh, three other ones that I've done so I can show you this. So this one is um, kind of a beige with a little pattern on it. And then <clears throat> just layered up the, the stamps again and use those for the, the inside. So there's that one. This one I did out of more of a foil type uh, paper. It's, it's a shiny gold on there. It's pink and white. And uh, that turned out really cute. So, and then here's the last one I did. That, that was with that pretty uh, marble looking paper there. And I just used some little stickers on here on that one. So that's that. And then I've got one that's partially finished. So I'm gonna finish that for you and I'll show you how um, to um, punch out the paper that you're going to use for for the envelopes so like I said um, you take a five by five piece of paper and first of all you're going to get your envelope scoreboard if you have one and you're gonna oops, let me get my little scoring tool out here so you're gonna punch and score here and we're gonna turn it to the three inch mark and we're gonna punch and score. Turn it again back to the two inch mark. And you're gonna punch and score. And then on the last one, you're just gonna, you're only gonna punch it, you're not gonna score it. So then your, your paper looks like this. And then you can round the corners if you like. I like that look like I did on here. It just kind of finishes it. A little nicer even though you cover this up but I don't know I still like to do it so it's up to you and if you don't um, have the envelope punch board you could just use a little corner rounder to uh, round those up and then all that it would be is um, to uh, fold fold it in like this and then there's your little pocket 
And now I'll show you the one. You can finish up this one um, that I had started yesterday. This aside here. Get this out of the way. And you can just um, listen to the music and watch along while I finish this one off. Thanks so much for watching. So there they are, they're all finished up and hopefully you feel inspired to create some of these for yourself. And you could do these in uh, other themes as well. You could use a Christmas paper and uh, still do the coffee theme, but um, you know, make it a little more festive. So hope you enjoyed that. We'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.